Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a common OBD to trouble code, the PO462. This code is about a problem with your fuel level sensor circuit, specifically showing low input. This code can lead to issues with reading your fuel gauge correctly, which can be pretty inconvenient and misleading. But no worries, I'll walk you through step by step on diagnosing and fixing it. What does the PO462 code mean? Diagnostic Trouble Code DTC PO462 stands for Fuel Level Sensor at Circuit Low. The PCM stores this code when it detects an irrational input signal from the Fuel Level Sensor FLS. Faulty Fuel Level Sensor Sender Unit Fault in the Fuel Level Sensor Circuit Mechanically Damaged Sending Unit Arm Problems with the Network or the Body Computer Problem with the PCM for example, software in need of an update. Faulty smart fuse box or integrated power module if equipped. Illuminated check engine light. Inaccurate fuel readings this happens when the fuel level indicated is. Different from the actual fuel level. Low fuel light that's on or flashing. First, grab an OBD scanner to confirm the PO for 6 to code if you don't have one. You can pick one up or visit an auto parts store most will skin your car for free. The fuel level sensor is usually located in the fuel tank or attached to the fuel pump carrier bracket. First carefully, remove the fuel level sensor from your vehicle. Visually check the fuel level sensor's float. Sliding contact wires and electrical connections for any damages use a multimeter to proceed a resistance test on the fuel level sensor the resistance reading should be different between when empty and when full check your owner's manual for the standard range if your reading doesn't match the owner's manual then the fuel level sensor should be replaced after replacing the sensor or fixing any wiring issues Go ahead and clear the code using the OBD to scanner. Start the car and let it idle, watching for any return of the check engine light. And that's it, you've successfully fixed the PO for 6 to code. Remember, it's always a good idea to address issues like these early to prevent any potential breakdowns on the road. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more car repair tips, and let us know in the comments what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.